how's it going? St. John, ID 
You know what I said? I told him that we're farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down. And... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed up. I went to the Cloverdale office in the farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, Two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't you understand. It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Burn, you little bastards. <laughs> now I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. Ah, uh, Boozer, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the river, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? Well, you found Sarah. Yeah, I found her. Boozer, man, I found her. That is... <laughs> awesome, Dick! 
When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. See? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. You can be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad. Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Thanks, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It's, it doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are hey, you gonna come out and eat something? warm again.
Curry's Corporal St. John. It up. Uh, what's up, Captain? We need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. One, the infirmary? Two, what's wrong? One, two, There's been the an incident. I'm on my way. Am I still there? Oh, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Okay. That all you need? Okay. Corporal, Corporal St. John, Saint what are you up to? John. Yeah? I'll see you hey, Sergeant. Yeah. A good piece of equipment right there. That, that that's a good one. Good choice, gotta say. Yep. Yep, good, good old high octane gasoline. Coming right up. C Corporal St. John, I I'll see you around, yeah? Corporal Lincoln St. John, good to see you. Hey, Sarge. St. John, come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake Outpost. Happy that, Captain. St. John out. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Corporal St. John. Hey, Sarge. How's life?
Come on, dude, gotta be something. Come on, man. Hey, hey what are you job. doing here? I'll catch you later. What's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John to Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the Colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, copy that. St. John out. <sighs> I hope this is high enough. <sighs> Boozer. It's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no. Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in, to see how, you know, how everything's going. Good, good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay, yeah, like I said, I just, I just want to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Garrett, 
Yes, sir. I'll be right there. Corporal St. John out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. But someone betrayed America. Don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope? Maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard.
smell it. <clears throat> Gotta be getting close.
Well, here we go. Never gets old. about due for a flu shot.
is it. Which way? <laughs> Still got this. That fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I don't want to Hey, listen to me, <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. <laughs> and they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang.
Hey, John. In here. Overdose. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Colonel, you asked to see me? Corporal. Yes, yes I did. Captain Curry says that you've been helpful dealing with marauders in the area. Just doing my duty, sir. A curious group of drifters have been spotted moving down Highway 97. Evidently they came over the Tielsen Pass, which I thought to be impassable. Our patrol reported that they were scarred. The letters R.I.P. carved into their foreheads. Have you ever heard of anything like this? No, sir. Sounds like... sounds like another cult, like, uh, the anarchists. Perhaps. Regardless, I want you to track them down and deal with them. We have enough to deal with. I don't need another cult springing up in our backyard. No, sir. Last thing we need is another crazy cult. I've marked their last known position on your map. Dismissed, Corporal. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man.
Captain Arturo Jimenez. Doc, to many of you, is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs, medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. Sure has. Yeah. Yeah. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed.